Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fight a Subscriber, where a subscriber has sent me a craft and I throw it into the lion's den of my own fighters, which you can see here. So this is the last of the individual heats. By the end of today we will know the name of the fourth craft to join us in this season's final, which will either be Junamoose's Liberator Mark VI or today's competitor. Um, poor old Junamoose, he's been, he's been living in tortured suspense for quite a while now, bless him. Um, Anyway, let's go and meet today's craft. Our twelfth and final craft then is the SU-27 Flanker by John Evans. Now this craft uses one of the NMB cockpits and there's been some discussion as to whether or not I'd allow these. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. For this craft I have decided to allow it for a couple of reasons. Well, as I said, we'll get into that a bit later. This is a, uh, a conventional standard configuration twin-engine fighter using two of those Panther afterburning engines and is modelled, of course, on the famous Russian fighter, the very one I believe that the Eurofighter was basically designed to shoot down, so uh, that will certainly add an element of intrigue to its fight against my Cyclones. Anyway, that is the Su-27 flanker, so for one final time this season, let's go and see how it flies. Smoothly, I think, is the answer to that one. Uh, this is a very nice craft to fly. Maybe a little squirrely in the roll, but um, yeah, I do like this one. It's not the most manoeuvrable craft we've seen this season, but by no means is it the least either. It's just about perfect to perform the uh, the figure of eights round the VAB and the, and the control tower. So with those formal introductions out of the way, let's see how this thing gets on in combat. So, as I mentioned earlier, the Su-27's first fight will be against my Cyclones, and the engine idle noises aren't playing for some reason, but the engines are all switched on. Uh, anyway, let's get them into the air. I did mention earlier I talked about the NMB cockpits. Now, there was some suggestion uh, from Maximus Light that the NMB cockpits could be a little overpowered. So I've taken a look and I see why that is. Some of them are an integrated cockpit and radome and air intake and ECM jammer, which is a little much. So what I've decided I'll do is that um, the air intakes, yeah, that's a little much. I'm not going to allow any things that's an integrated cockpit and air intake. The, the radome, I'll, I'll let you have the radome, because I can't remember any situation where a radome has been destroyed and yet the rest of the craft is in good working order. The ECM jammer, I'm also going to say that's a little much as well. So if it's just, you know, integrated cockpit and radome, competition starting. Uh, I'll let you have that, but I will be disabling the ECM jammer and just disallowing anything that's also um, that's also an integrated air intake. Hope that clears that up. Anyway, everybody has launched missiles and everybody starts breaking low to avoid the missiles coming in from the other side. I mean, I can see why you'd want to use them. They are nice looking parts. Um, I've taken a look through the other parts, like the fuel tanks. These seem to be reasonably reasonably balanced parts. There doesn't seem to be any sort of element of uh, overpoweredness going on there. Everybody survived that first wave? Yup. That one goes pretty close though. Jebediah Kerman. It looks like um, these flankers are set to launch two missiles per target. It may have been a little too face onto that missile but it does just go flying past. Still going back and forth, no sign of any craft getting into uh, missile, sorry, gun range just yet. That was pretty close. And that is one of the cyclones taken out. A missile kill just obliterates it. Just debris everywhere. First blood then to the Su-27s. Jebediah Kerman trying to come about. Missile still going back and forth. To no avail so far though. That looks like yes. These other flankers are starting to get engaged in a bit of gunfire. Richmond Kerman has to break off, pop some countermeasures. There's a missile coming in for him somewhere. This other SU-27 though, in a bit of a joust there. That's another one of the cyclones gone. That is another one of the cyclones gone. And it's down to three on one. Rowena Kerman. Rowena Kerman has the fight of her life on. Or at least did till a couple of seconds ago. 
So a very convincing victory for the SU-27s there. A, p a perfect start in, in less than four minutes. Hmm. Anyway, let's move on to the second fight. So a trio of missile kills against my Cyclones means a perfect start for the flanker, but uh, it now faces potentially tougher opposition in the form of my club tails. Let's get this one started. So our craft approach the all-important 8km mark, and the competition begins. So yes, victory against my Cyclones, but as I stated a couple of times now, they uh, they have become the competition's whipping boys, so uh, this will probably be a tougher test. Uh, again, the SU-27's launching two missiles apiece at the club tails, and now having to break off to avoid the incoming missiles. Jebediah Kerman. Yeah, looks like those are going well past his tail. And the club tails seem to have survived the first volley as well. That was a interesting shot. Is that missile... No. Jebediah Kerman just wasted a couple of missiles. I'm sure the club tails won't mind, but um, I'm not sure his uh, his comrades will be particularly happy at him. Still avoiding missiles, not turning around to fire those sidewinders. There is a bit of gunfire going in now, though. Rich Mulkerman has one of the club tails in his sight, and that, that is one of the club tails absolutely shredded by a missile. Launches a sidewinder at one of the other club tails. And that's another one gone. Now these club tails, they are equipped with flares. Oh my god, Junimus is going out of the competition. I'm so sorry, Junimus. Oh, it's been so long. It's been in fourth for so long. Yeah, these um these craft obviously set up to use the right weapon at the right time, those sidewinders can be devastatingly effective at, at close range. Richard Mulkerman trying to go for the guns approach now though, but has to break off and without any other club tails in the air, I will have to assume that's because a missile is coming in from another craft. The club tail putting up a fight though. Has one of the SU-27s in his sights. In her sights, I do beg your pardon. Comes around, tries to line up a shot again. Another SU-27 tries, uh, tries its luck, but uh, nothing doing. Rowena Kerman thinks better of it and breaks off the attack, but uh, is now having to dodge some gunfire of her own. Ooh, a little bit of damage. Gets scorched. Nothing major, nothing significant. Probably just the loss of a missile there. But now has the attention of all three of those SU-27s. Is trying to come about... Trying to get a quick revenge kill, and that is a very good opportunity. <sighs> Leaves her a little vulnerable, though. Loses part of her, um... Part of her tail. Loses some control surfaces. Loses another control surface. It's not looking good at the moment. As I've said, no craft so far has come back from 3-1 down. And with uh, damage accumulating on her vehicle. I don't think Rowena Kerman is going to break that record today. The uh, SU-27 is taking their time though. Where are they? Here we go. One of them lines up Rowena Kerman in its sights. Rowena Kerman pulls some evasive maneuvers though. These club tails getting shots away. Getting shots away on one of those SU-27s and that was a very good opportunity but Sadly, one that Rowena Kerman could not take. Manages to reacquire the target. Still very manoeuvrable, even missing all that stuff. Scorches it ever so slightly. Does some more serious damage. Nothing fatal, though. It doesn't appear. Comes about. Surely this is the opportunity Rowena Kerman needs. That SU-27 just circling Rowena at the moment. Now Rowena Kerman can get some decent gunfire away. Does some more damage on that SU-27 flanker. Let's see if we can find it. More gunfire rains in from Rowena Kerman. Rowena Kerman has to break off. Popping countermeasures. 
a missile comes in. And that is Rowena Kerman out of here. Or maybe not. I'm not sure that she's going to put up much of a fight now. It was, it was a brave attempt. It was a brave and admirable attempt to get back into this competition. And she did manage to put some uh, some damage down on one of those uh, SU-27s. Which one was it? Oh, some very heavy damage there. Didn't come far short of um, of actually crippling this uh, this SU-27. Oh my word! One of the SU-27s has gone. What happened there? What is that down there? Is that one of the SU-27s has crashed into the ground? Which would put the SU-27 on 11 points, assuming it wins this match. Meaning, Junimus might not be done and dusted just yet. What has happened there? Was there a mid-air collision or something? Bits of the other SU-27 are falling to the ground. I don't know what happened to it. Has to pop some countermeasures. A missile coming in from somewhere. Here it comes. Goes very close. Doesn't get the job done, though. Rowena Kerman breaking low. This might be inadvisable. I don't think she's going to pull up from this. No. So another victory for the SU-27s. That makes the rest of this competition very interesting. Let's go to the final fight. As things stand then, the SU-27 may have already booked itself a place in the final. We'll have to check afterwards. But they could render the whole thing academic just by getting a single kill in this fight against my Panthers. Let's get this one started. <laughs> And so the final round of the final heat begins. The SU-27s launch their two missiles apiece. And we'll have to start dodging the missiles coming in from the Panthers. The flank is starting to show a little bit of vulnerability in that last fight. One of them lost to, I'm not sure exactly why it did appear to be some kind of, um, some kind of death in the air. It doesn't appear to have been them forced into the ground. But uh, one of them did take some heavy damage. Rowena Kerman, as I said, not too far away from putting that SU-27 out of the air. More missiles rain in. The, uh, the missiles from the SU-27s appear to be going wide of the mark. Oh, that was a little bit close, but uh, still doesn't do any damage. Jebediah Kerman still let, yet to lose his second volley of missiles. Might be tactically advantageous to keep that in the tank. That missile doesn't go far away. More oh, missiles flying back and forth. Yeah, the SC-27's putting up a hell of a fight so far. Um, that again, that was very close. They uh, they did okay in the test fights I uh, I performed on them, but um, I didn't expect them to uh, didn't expect them to do this well. Two sets of gunfire now come raining in on Jebediah Kerman's. SU-27 and if they can get some damage in oh that looks good not for Jebediah but uh, does manage to get some damage on this flanker that was some damage there that's one of the Panthers damaged that is Rowena Kerman Rowena Kerman who fought so bravely in the last fight looks like she may have to do it all over again no confirmed kills yet, though. The result of uh, the result of this heat, and hence the result of the competition, the result of who goes through to the final, still hanging in the balance. And that is one of the SU-27s gone. Rowena Kerman just needs to hang in there a little longer, just a little longer. And maybe this thing could go down to the wire. 
I'm not sure how likely that is though. Valentina Kerman comes about. An SU-27 on her tail. How's this other panther doing? Racing in. Shawnee Kerman racing in to assist, uh, assist his wingman. That is one of the panthers gone though. Rowena Kerman's panther has finally succumbed. Looks like it may have been a missile kill. And it will be the SU-27s going through to the final. I'm really sorry, Juno Moose. It's not been a pleasant viewing experience for him. That's one of the other SU-27s gone. Crashed into the sea, it looks like. It's just this one remaining. Two against one. Richmond Kerman now having to dodge some missiles. Goes well past his tail, though. Gunfire starts to rain in now. Tries to pull a hard manoeuvre. Won't be enough to get onto the tail of that panther, but will be enough to dodge that gunfire. This gunfire, however, it's a joust. Now the panther breaks off. Rich Mulkerman comes about. Gunfire raining in. Avoids it for now. Turns about, tries to get that panther into his sights. Another joust. No damage done to either side. Heading a little bit low. Should be able to turn it around though. Risky manoeuvre, but does indeed manage it. Has to start popping some flares. Has a missile incoming. Has to gain some altitude. That might make him vulnerable to the uh, to the gunfire of that panther, but uh, pulls some evasive manoeuvres. And that seems to do the trick for now. Or at least it does for one of the panthers. More gunfire reigns in. Which will come and again manages to dodge. That panther doesn't quite have what it takes to uh, stick on its, his tail. Comes about. Tries to line up one of the panthers in his sights. Looses a missile. Switches to guns. The missile doesn't hit. The guns might. Closing the distance. This could be dangerous for that panther. Gunfire reigns in! And the SU-27 is shredded. So the SU-27s don't manage a clean sweep, but I have a feeling they'll be leaving uh, today's heat very happy. Let's, uh, let's go and see why. So that was the SU-27 flanker by John Evans. A gorgeous looking craft which, in the end, managed to win two of its three fights. Getting down to business then, the SU-27's 7 kills and 5 survivors over the 3 fights puts it on a total of 12 points, ahead of the PIP drone courtesy of the most kills tiebreak rule. This does mean, sadly, we do have to say farewell to the A1 Liberator Mark VI. I'm so sorry, Juno Moose, I really wanted that craft to do well. A returning champion from last season, but uh, there's, always, there's always next season, I'm so sorry. Thank you very much to John for this craft. It was beautiful to fly and beautiful to look at. Uh, if you'd like me to fight any of your craft, uh, as you can probably gather, it's too late for this season now. But I will probably be doing another season uh, of this, so uh, feel free to send me the craft anyway. Uh, details in the description. Uh, so that will be all for today. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, please consider liking, subscribing, or following me on Twitter. Uh, link down below. Uh, I will be back soon, um, in about two weeks' time, as I've mentioned, hopefully, with some more Fighter Subscriber. But uh, until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.